Hey there, YouTube. Let's talk Kentucky Rifle. Kentucky Rifle, imported by CDA slash Traditions. I think Traditions is the major importer of them now. Um, and CBA was back in the 70s, probably till maybe the early to mid 2000s, and they stopped. Traditions picked it up. Like I said, there's one in 66 twist. Uh, the ramrod that comes with this thing is the Achilles heel. It's not rumored to be the greatest. You might want to have to make you one out of a dowel rod or a piece of hickory. Some get a, uh, a larger range rod and use that. It's neither here nor there for me which one you use. The one in 66 twist, although there's a gentleman on YouTube that made a video about a month ago that said you can shoot sabos through these things. You can, but I'm going to tell you from what I know about it is your sabos need a 1 in 38 or higher on the twist rate to stabilize. These rifle barrels are, are for a round ball. Now, once you get yours, or if you already have one, you already know that you've got to sit there and work up the diet for them. Point fifteen ticking and four four zero round ball. Point one zero ticking and four four five round ball. Whichever works best in your rifle that produces the sh acceptable shot group to you at your desired distance. Like I said, when you get yours, and uh, you know, if your wife doesn't know, you know, you should happen to disappear from YouTube, and I don't see you in the comments anymore, I don't, don't see you producing videos anymore. And I, I generally lose a couple of weeks here on a video or something, you know. Within reason, you know, six, eight months down the road, and, and you don't comment, and you don't slap up a video. I'm going to bring the cadaver dogs. Okay. Yet your wife will probably have killed you. This has been a Taurus High Point production. I choose, therefore, I am responsible.